share, subscribe. Guys, like, share. Guys, welcome, 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 welcome to Bali My Cooking. And for you today, guys, I'm gonna make some sushi. Very simple and nice recipe, guys, for you. And guess what? My sushi is gonna be different. And first of all, I'm, I'm not using no nerve paper, guys. I'm using what I have. And that's how you know it'll be creative. All I tell you guys, my kitchen about being creative, coming up with new ideas, let food come to life. And guys, before I start, as I said, I'm working outside today, guys. A little bit different from the kitchen. I say I want to go outside, guys, and we go. Just feel a nice natural breeze, guys. And yeah, so I'm gonna bring you guys closer so you can see what I'm doing. So right here, guys, I got the sushi rice or the wash. Right here, guys, I got some canned tuna. You can use whatever tuna you like. And right here, I got the sugar. That mayonnaise to make that lovely um, sauce for the sushi. For this side, I have avocado, I got cucumber, and I got carrot. You can do whatever you want. And these are the ingredients I'm going to use to make up my sushi to taste lovely and nice. Here, yeah, guys, and first thing I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to put on the, the rice. Guys, yeah, I said the rice of the wash. The rice inside the pot like this. As I said guys, sushi is very nice to make, you just take patience and that's all I need. You know guys, in the cup right here. I want at least, this is two cups of rice, so we're going to use at least two cups of water. Alright, two and a half. The rice like that. Alright. And two. That's it, a little bit more. Just like that. What we're gonna do now, guys, let's turn it on. Make sure, guys, you put the lid on. Then I'm gonna move on to the next step. Peel the carrot. Yes, guys, whenever you're making a sushi, the carrot is like this. Like that. Thin just like that guys, that's how you want your carrot to be thin. And for the cucumber guys, I'll do the same. So sure speed guys, and you guys can try it. As I'm saying in the kitchen, it's about you doing what you love. No matter who wants to say anything guys, in your kitchen, you present your food the way you love it, the way you know you're going to enjoy it. What I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to blanch the carrot just a little bit. You know the carrot is kind of tough, so blanch a little bit guys. And yes guys, right here, I got um, a lovely avocado. Like that. Hey guys, what I'm gonna do now when I'm making it up the like this. Very thin slice, just like that. Just like that, guys. And yes, guys, what are going to do now? I'm going to check the carrots if they are very soft. Hey guys, the side that, that's how you want the carrots. So right now, we're going to turn the stove off. Move the carrots, let them cool down. And yes, guys, as you can see right now, the rice is already finished. So what we're going to do now, guys, I'm going to um, move from the container. Look at it, guys, nice. I'm going to remove it now, guys, from the container. Put in a large, you want to put in a large bowl, guys. Like that. Like that. Alright, now, guys, I'm going to make my, my sugar. My vinegar, I'm using, I suppose use rice vinegar, I'm not using regular vinegar, guys. I'm using um, 
apple cider vinegar. Use what, use what vinegar you choose. I'm using at least five spoons of sugar. One, two, three, four, five. Slightly, slightly mix it, guys. To the evaporated sugar. There you guys. Once we've upgraded it, guys, just like that. As I said, guys, making your sushi is very easy once you're patient and you love what you do. And that, guys. So I'm doing now. Let it cool a little bit and I pour it over the, the rice. Yes, guys, pour it over the rice like this. Over. Remember guys, you're not, you, you don't want your rice to mash up, you just want to have just bail it like this. Just like that guys, just like that. Just like that. And guess what guys, I forgot to put the salt. So what I'm going to do, is going to chance and sprinkle a little bit of salt away guys. I forgot to put the salt guys, so bear with me. Not too much. Get the beer, my guys. Just come like this. Now, guys, I'm gonna um put the rice to cool. So once the rice is cooling, guys, now my tuna. As I said, you can use um, a fresh tuna. I'm using the tuna outside the can. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna season a little bit, really the flavor. So, a little black pepper. And some salt. We're gonna add a little sesame seed oil over it. Like that. Not too much. Give it a little stir. It's not about being creative, guys. I know guys, I'm making my simple mayonnaise for my sushi. It's going to be a little bit different guys. This is my recipe I'm coming up with. So my mayonnaise is here. Tabasco sauce. Same sesame seed oil. Some black pepper. Pinch of sugar guys. Like that, some sesame seeds that's optional, guys. I said my kitchen, my way. Give it a stir, put it aside now, guys. Yes, guys, many of you guys may be watching this video, guys, and say maybe I'm doing the sushi a different way, but like I said, guys, before. This is my way of showing you guys to be creative again, as I said. To do what you love in the kitchen and make your food come to the best taste you want and the best presentation, the best look and the best ingredients you want to use. And I said, the sushi I'm not using no nori paper, as I said before, guys. But I have this. Rambo straw, I have that, guys. Once I have that, I'm good to go. So, as I said, my rice is here cooling. It's all ready to go now, guys. I'm going to... Um, Check my rice if it's ready. I'm gonna start making ourselves that nice lovely sushi. And I'm telling you guys, you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna start off by starting my sushi. So come closer now guys, and you see what I'm doing. So yes guys, what I'm doing now, I'm gonna um start off by my sushi. What I do, I'm gonna oil my hands like this. That guys, yeah. that way the rice won't stick on my hands. Then what we're gonna do now, guys? We're gonna take the rice like a ball. Well, guys, I'm gonna place it under the mat like that. Some more. 
ball and place on the mat. As I'm saying guys, I'm not using no nori paper guys, so I'm, using, I'm being creative today guys. She's making my sushi without the um, nori paper. Use your hands guys and try to um, get it squared. So now guys, you start the sushi in the format that you like. So I want to start off by putting my avocados. It's going to be a very nice large sushi. Then, the cucumber. My carrots. Then my tuna. I say if you like, you can use whatever you want. You can use shrimp. Use whatever you want to put in your sushi, guys. Cut it now, guys. Mix it nicely. I'm going to um, take my time like this and fold it like that. Take your time. Don't watch your rice that, that way, you know, guys. Take your time and roll that together. This kitchen is way. If you guys want to try this way, you can try it also. Then just remove it like this. Look at that guys, just like that. And remember guys, this rice, sushi is very delicate, so you gotta take your time, like this. Move it, just like that guys, look at it. Nice, amazing rice sushi. So, I'm gonna try cut into it, but like I said before, it's rice, it's you no know, paper inside, so it'll be very tender. With it, take your time. Then cut between it, guys, like that. Not gonna be on percent perfect, like where your regular um sushi would be. Take your time with a knife. Go right down. Get it across. Turn again. Got you guys. Again, knife down. Again. Look at it, guys. Amazing, nice rice sushi. Then what you're gonna do now, guys? Use a knife. Like this. Take your time. Like that. Remember guys, it's delicate. You have to take your time guys with it. Take out the excess piece from here. Like that. Look at that guys, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to finish in touch guys, i get some sesame seeds. Like this. Very simple and easy guys.
my sushi ginger. Just like that, guys. Here you, guys, here you have it, guys. Nice, amazing homemade sushi made by Bradley. In my kitchen, guys, good food always coming your way, guys. As I said about being creative, coming up with new ideas, and let food come to life. Nice and amazing. And yes, guys, there you have it. Bradley is my cooking. I Bradley my cooking here, guys. You don't know. Being creative, coming up with the ideas, you don't know what somebody did in my kitchen. And as you can see again, I love the sushi there. And no new paper in it, guys. So, you want to try this recipe? Don't worry, I will leave the description in the link below. All the ingredients, simple and easy, guys. You can make your own sushi. Nice and tasty, just how you want it. Yeah, man, and thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.